Article two minutes to the gentleman from Ohio, Mr. Lasseret. Gentleman from Ohio is recognized for two minutes. I thank the gentleman for yielding, and I thank the speaker for the recognition. Uh, there's something in life called the Hobson's choice, and I never thought I'd be here, and I think Dave Hobson, who's retiring, probably thinks it's named after him, but it's not. And what we're being told today is that we either give $700 billion to the Secretary of the Treasury, because he says that's what's needed, in a plan that's untested, unworked, or, and if we don't just write this check, we're being told that all of our constituents are going to lose their life savings, their 401ks, their retirements. That's a hell of a choice, uh, Mr. Speaker, Madam Speaker. And I come today with a big problem. The big problem is where did the number come from? The number, Forbes magazine last week, Treasury spokeswoman, it's not based on any data point. We just wanted to choose a really large number. Well, you know what? $700 billion is a really large number. Last night we took an amendment to the Rules Committee, asked them to make it an order to stop this process, slow it down by a day. The vote was 8 to 4, it was along party lines, 8 Democratic members of the Rules Committee who represent about 4.8 million people, told 305 million Americans we couldn't have a vote on that or anything else, including measures that are important to Democrats, such as bankruptcy and things of that nature. This bill left the House and it went over to the Senate and they larded it up. $192 million for rum. I guess we got the pirate vote in November. $100 million for NASCAR. $81 million for Hollywood. And my favorite, $2 million for wooden arrows for children. Now, I want children to have wooden arrows, but it doesn't belong in this bill. And I got to tell you, as a Republican, I have never seen, I'm finishing my 14th year, what just happened on the last vote. And we all know that folks back home don't pay attention to rules. 20 Republicans voted for the Democratic rule. If those 20 Republicans had not voted for that rule, we could have had an amendment on the floor saving America $450 billion, which as our friends like to tell us is four years in Iraq, and we could have cut the pork. As John McCain says, and sadly for those 20 Republicans and those who aided and abetted them, we will make your f you famous and you shall know their names. Shame on you. I yield back my time. Has expired. The gentleman from Massachusetts. Uh, Madam Speaker, I would note that one of those whose names would be listed is John McCain, who voted for this bill in the Senate. So Mr. McCain's name would be at the head of that list uh, of the of the 20. And I now yield one minute to the gentleman from New York. Gentleman from New York.